Man, I'm fresh. Fresh as a daisy, boy. Felt great, man. Um, went out there, did what I was supposed to do. I don't think I looked that slow out there, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm, I'm still, I'm still hanging in there. This guy. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. He's, he's been like 28, 20, 28, 27, something like that, man. And you guys know how old I am, so I'm out there still, still doing it. Still going against the young guns and still and still fighting, man, and doing what I'm supposed to do. Coming in here, shutting up and just fighting. And I've got it all the way to this point just by closing my mouth and just doing work. You know, my team has to. I have to sit down with the team and and, this, and we're probably going to be talking to uh, PFL and Bellator, you know, and try to see what's going on that this was the last fight on my contract and um you know we're sit down and have a conversation and, and kind of go from there how hard was it not to be overcome by emotions when you're sitting there and getting interviewed oh man you know what it is is, is like I, I most of my fights are always you know either far away out of the country so you know it it, it feels good and it feels like um um reaffirming when you come out and you hear the crowd's reaction to to me, you know what I mean? So it just, you know, it, it gives you that feeling like, you know, I do have a presence out in the SoCal area, you know. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have a little presence somewhere else, but I'm more concerned about the SoCal area. And it just it meant a lot to go out there and, and hear the crowd like that and know that I got a presence out here. Thank you, man. Oh, it's over. I was like, "There's, there's no way you're, you're, you're coming back from this." I, I, I wasn't. You know, it was still early in the fight. You know, obviously, I wasn't tired, but you know, I was just being patient. You know, uh, the whole game plan was: we know, we know he, he hits hard. We know he comes out banging, and and he's trying to put, you know, put guys away. But just go in there and be patient. Be patient. Like I've said in other interviews before this, I've been in there with the best of them. You know what I mean? So I have not, not seen that before. It's, it's more harder for him to train for a guy like me than, like, than opposites. You know what I mean? So go in there, be patient, and, and, and know that all my training is going to come to effect and, and, and display out there. You know, So it was great, man. Coaches, my coaches are the best I don't give a shit what people say. They're the best. They get me prepared. I'm healthy. I'm coming out here fighting healthy. I'm not pulling out of fights. I, what, el what else could you ask for? And I'm getting older. I'm, I'm doing this as I'm getting older, right? You know, I don't know, man. It's just smart training. Smart training, smart coaches, and it's just a good recipe. You know, I feel like I'm getting better. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling better out there. I'm looking, my body's looking better. So, you know, and, and I've always been a natural athlete, you know, for them non-naturals out there. But, you know, so it's, it's just progressing. You know, I'm not declining out here so it's it feels it feels great man thank you man out out there i was just yelling at like um not here man you know what i mean I, when they put me at pachanga oh this is horrible so sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. So first thing was the presence, you know, like when I came out, 
just the, the presence I felt from everybody. And being that, I'm, you know, I'm a SoCal boy, so to, to get that love when, I'm, when I get out there, it's like, you know, it's great to, to know that I got that, that presence out here, right? And then with the whole me on the cage, you know, I'm just screaming like, not, not here. Pachanga, undefeated. When, when I'm fighting out here, dude, I got, I got, I'm, not, I'm not losing like that, man. Not out here. No, nah, I got too much love out here. Man, I just want to sit back. I'm a, after this, I'm going to go out on my boat, take the family out, and just have a good time, man. Um, and I know we're, you know, eventually we're gonna sit down with Bellator and PFL, and talk business, you know. And hopefully we can come to, a, you know, some type of agreement. I like the promotion. Obviously, I've been here, you know, for years, and uh, you know, I I feel like we have a good relationship, you know. So this is just something that, you know, when it comes down to business, we just have to sit down and talk and and talk it out and see and go from there. Thank you, man. <laughs> yes, sir. How's it going? Yes. Man, feels great, man. Uh, was it the? Yeah. So the last time I fought out here, should have been knockout of the year, right? It should have been the elbow. Come on, like. I'm not gonna dig on other promotions, but I think that elbow was, the elbow was like crazy. But it is what it is. And now, you know, the second time out out here, I get another knockout. You, know? I didn't get to watch it, you know, because I mean they have a TV in the back. But that, you know, that from the word around the stadium, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, I was just like, okay, like, it's like, you know, and in the fight game, you, it was more, I felt like it was like, I wasn't rocked, you know what I mean? I think it was more so like, no, like, I'm going to show you, like, type of thing, you know? So, I was just like, oh, get up, all right, well, we, you know, so I, I think it was, I took it more so like, I want to, I want to show you standing up, like, I want to, I want to, I want to end you standing up. You know what I mean? Cause I, hey, I would have invited him on the ground all day, man. I'm, I'm, I know it's been never, you know what I mean? But I'm waiting for somebody to, you know, to, I want to display some, some ground, you know? <laughs> man, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to do. I'm not, it's a secret. It didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, I said, I don't, I don't know who asked me earlier, or no, they didn't ask me earlier. It was in earlier media, but um, earlier in the week, and they said that he was just worried about my elbows. I'm like, that's how I looked at you guys, like, that's all you're worried about? You know, like, all right. And proof's in the pudding. I guess you you got to worry about more than that. None. Didn't even think about I, I, the. Like I said, I just found out about the number one contender spot through a, through somebody that I was training with, that told me about it. You know what I mean? So, my only focus this whole camp was Levon. You know what I mean? I didn't think about nothing else. None of the hype. Nothing. Just task at hand. And just once I got that out of the way, then I moved from there. Yeah, it keeps the burgers out of my mouth and, and keeps me, you know, keeps me training. I, I think I'm the most dangerous. I've been saying it for years. I'm the most dangerous when I'm active. And as long as I'm active, you know, like, I, I, I welcome it. I don't, 
don't treat me like, and I say it too, like, don't treat me like one, these other old fighters that want to fight two times a year, one time a year on these things. I'm healthy. I don't mind fighting more than two times a year. You know what I mean? I've just, in my circumstances, always been fighting two times. You know, it's not my choice. I've always wanted to fight more, you know, so more active for me is better all day. Um, I think it, it, it's not just so that I, I think it's just, you know, I'm just training, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm staying in the gym. I got a great team behind me. They're keeping me right. You know what I mean? So when I'm, uh, and, and the more active I am, the more comfortable I am in the cage, there's no rust. I was just in there. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know. Things are just going, it's getting better and better and better. Instead of decline, it's, it's going up. Thanks, man. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Yep. You know what? It's like, for me, I look at it like, jeez. I look at it like I've seen so many fighters in my and and that done really really good and as they got older it just they're just totally different totally different fighters and I'm just blessed to you know to to I'm just improving every fight I'm improving I, I'm I'm getting I keep saying I'm getting older but I'm still I'm still fast out there. My my reactions is still good, you know what I mean? And and I'm I'm still putting on great shows and 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 great performances, you know? So it just feels good, man. Yeah. I didn't know that. Man, I've been in this position before, man. I've been in this position before when I was at UFC. And I will always, I will always bet on myself. Always. I did it then, and I'll do it now. And there's no pressure. You know, I, I take it as, like, motivation. You know what I mean? You, you let me fight my last fight, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to perform. Same way I went out on my last uh, on my last fight on my contract out of out of that promotion, it was a great stoppage. Same thing with this, you know. I, I take it, it's not pressure, you know. It's it's I, I thrive on I thrive on this type of stuff, you know what I mean. And if I go bet on myself, I'm always gonna bet on myself. Yeah. Ah, it would be great. It would be great. San Diego's been great. The weather's been great. It's not been great back so uh, back home so much. It's been crazy hot, but um, no, it's great. You know, I would lo I love here, L.A. You know, it's 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 great. You know, and I know I'll bring out a lot of people for sure. Thank you. Oh, great, man. It's just, for me, man, it's like, I love it, you know, just me, you know, obviously as a fighter, but just putting on for my team. Millennia, man, my coaches, you know, the, the, the guys that I'm training with. <clears throat> I'm not training with these, like, all-stars at all, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not a dig, you know, these guys are high, like, high performing amateurs and, and 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 low low tier pros you know right now they're coming up you know so it's just great you know they they everybody in the gym is pushing themselves you know what i mean i don't need to be training with 
these superstars and, 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 and all this type of stuff, you know, we just have a good team and we have great coaches and it's, it's, it's showing out there. No, for sure. You know, like don't don't get me wrong. Like, I w I will go, and 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 do a training session at at a bigger gym like Couture. You know what I mean? I'm not doing a whole camp there, but I will go there because I know you know I'm, I'm good friends with Strickland and, and things like that. So I'll go out there and, and and get some training in. But for the for the all part, it's at my gym. You know, so yeah, you don't. As I, it all it all boils down to the coaching, man. If your coaches are are smart, knowledgeable. You don't need to go. I mean, if you want to, go ahead. You know, to each his own. But I never felt like I had to. He fucking better be. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he'll give me some weird voicemail, you know, later on. Oh, for sure, man. I've had all the ups and downs, man. I've had them all. And I've always just kept looking forward, forgot about that, the last shit, and just kept fighting, kept fighting, kept fighting, shut my mouth, kept fighting. You know what I mean? So I think for me, it's more so I've, I've fought this game my way. I've never changed. I never tried to conform to the what's popular right now, what's popping and what's trendy, what's going, you know, all that type of shit. I've always been the same guy. Every fucking fight. Every fight. Never have to talk shit, never have to say a crazy thing that's going to pop for the for the media, you know what I mean? I, I've always been me. And when I'm out of this game, I can look at my son, I can look at my daughter and be like, I was me the whole time. Never changed, never had to conform, and fought my way, and still did it, you know? So I think, you know, for, for people out there, you don't have to conform, you know? Don't get me wrong, there's are people that done it and make a lot of money, and I've never done it, and I made, I've, I've made good money. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Oh my God! Oh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna leave me a couple of fucking freestyles on my Instagram, on my DMs. Yeah. Oh. Oh man, it feels great. You know, King. King's been with me, shoot, since since my first Bellator fight. You know, so. I don't know, eight, seven years, eight years now. It's a family, man. Um, Brett, Ross, uh, Ramsey's, you know, that it's, 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 it's great. And especially for a company like that, such a big in the, in the off-road industry. I love off-roading. I got toys, you know, so it feels great to be a part of a company like that. It's such a big company, you know, so it's great, man. Those guys are, that's, that's family. Thank you, thank you. They 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 got the best gear, man. <laughs> hey, Combat Force Day. Were you surprised when he stood there and started banging like right from the beginning? No, we we knew we knew he's gonna come out hard, you know. And I mean, and like let's be honest, that's his goal was to come out and finish me in the first round and and put a statement out there and and you know and and use me as a as a stepping stone, right? Didn't have, it didn't go that way, you know, but we knew that he was going to come out strong, you know, before we're even walking out. You know, my team's like, hey, listen, just be calm, you know, use your footwork and look for the shots. Don't, you don't have to, he was saying, don't go cholo out there. So, you know, but we had a good game plan, you know, just go out there, let my, let my fight IQ show, you know what I mean? And, and. And that's what happened, you know, he, he made a mistake and I was able to capitalize on it and finish the fight, you know. Uh, you've been fighting for a while. Uh, how, how long do you see the sport now where it's been, how the growth of it from when you started, from when you started 
Oh. No, I mean, it's, it's blew up, you know, and it's like, I don't, it hasn't been so gradual. It's kind of like, it was just, uh, and then boom, you know. So it's great. You know, I, I, I love that. There's two parts of it, right? I love that I've been able to see it all. But then it was, it was actually my last fight. It's kind of embarrassing, but uh, we're in the back. We're in the back before the fight. I'm just looking at the card and the lineup, and I looked at my coaches like, I'm the old guy, huh? I'm the old guy on the card. And they're like, yeah, you're the old guy on the card. I was like, fuck, dude. But it doesn't feel like that because, you know, I just I come to fight. After the fight, I don't have really nothing much to do with MMA. You know, I'm doing other things. So I never, like, indulge myself to, like, you know. So I always just look at it like I'm the, I'm the fresh guy, you know. I'm still new to the game, kind of, you know. But, you know, now when I people remind me of shit, you know, I'm like, damn, I have been in the game for a while. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Good.